everybody. I really appreciate you coming back for another video. Now, whether you're new to lawn care or you've been into it for quite some time, chances are that you've heard people talk about pre-emergent herbicides, especially this time of year in the spring as our temp soil temperatures start to rise. Now, pre-emergent is an easy way to prevent new weeds and crabgrass from germinating throughout the season if you use it effectively. Now, in this video, we're gonna discuss what pre-emergent is, what it's used for, and how to apply it for maximum weed control throughout the entire lawn care season. So stay tuned. Now just a quick little disclaimer here before we get too far into this. What I'm going to talk about here in relation to pre-emergent herbicides in this video is going to relate to cool season grasses. Now cool season grass is typically from the Midwest and, and North. Um, if you're watching this from Northeast Indiana where I live or the surrounding states, you're going to likely have cool season grass as we're not really in the transition zone. I'll put a map here so you can kind of see generalized where the breakdown between warm season and cool season grasses are. But in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about pre-emergence and uh, cool season grasses. Now, if you're watching this as I post this video, spring is upon us here in Northeast Indiana, and it's such a welcome turn from the winter weather that we've had for the last several months. Now, as the air temperatures gradually warm up, so too are the soil temperatures. And that's a sign that spring is here to stay. Now, once we hit that magical 50 degree mark on soil temperatures, your lawn's gonna start to wake up from its winter slumber and it's gonna start growing. Unfortunately, not only is the grass gonna grow, but the weeds are like dreaded crabgrass and dandelions and everything else is gonna start to germinate as well. Now, there are a few ways that you can combat weeds in your lawn. The first is by developing a dense, lush turf that's going to choke out any weeds from germinating and avoid that or prevent that sunlight from getting down there and causing them to germinate. Now, most of us do not have thick, dense turf, so the second way we're going to rely on combating weeds and preventing them is through a pre-emergent herbicide. <music> So before we get too far into this video, I want to talk about what a pre-emergent herbicide is. Now, as its name suggests, this herbicide is going to be applied to your lawn before the weeds germinate. That's why they call it pre-emergent. You're going to put it down before the weeds emerge. And this is going to prevent them throughout the season from germinating and causing your lawn to fill up with weeds. Now, this herbicide is going to provide a barrier over the lawn that attacks sensitive root tissues of newly germinated seedlings and prevents them from growing, resulting in their death. This herbicide is not going to impact established lawns or existing weeds. If you have existing weeds that you're trying to treat, you're going to want to use a post-emergent herbicide um, that is a broadleaf herbicide that's not going to kill your grass. Now there's two primary types of pre-emergent herbicides that are commonly used in the lawn care community. These are both in the same chemical class and they work similarly. But due to application limitations, they both may need to be used in tandem on your lawn to prevent over application of these herbicides. Now those two pre-emergent herbicides are going to be prodiamine, which I tend to prefer and I use in the springtime. And the other pre-emergent herbicide is gonna be dithiopure which is typically used in the fall time. However, it can be used in the spring too. Um, and this is one herbicide that you're gonna use mostly in the fall to combat those weeds over the winter, especially if you're more in the transition zone or further south. But here in cool season lawns, we don't deal with a lot of winter weeds, mainly because our ground temps freeze and everything pretty much goes dormant. However, this could give you a little jump start over the winter and into the next spring if you suffer with a lot of weed pressure. Now both of these products are going to come in a granular form that you're going to spread out of a broadcast spreader or in a water soluble form that you're going to mix with water and spray out of a backpack sprayer or any type of pump sprayer. Now they both work the same, they just have a little bit of different methods of application. 
Now, when I first started, I like to use the granular because it was easier for me to apply this product um, and I hadn't got into spraying liquids yet. A lot of people new to lawn care are kind of intimidated by liquids, as was I. However, once I got into using uh, liquid fertilizers, liquid herbicides, I now prefer to put down the liquid pre-emergent for a few reasons. One, it tends to be cheaper. Um, I can get this little bottle of pr prodiamine uh, that I'll link below that I'm gonna use for less than $30. It's gonna last me multiple seasons, as opposed to a bag of granular, which is gonna last me one season and cost considerably more. However, th there's nothing wrong with whatever option you choose. I think it's just key to get something down on your lawn, especially if you don't have thick, dense grass, so you're not fighting weeds all summer long. The other thing I like about liquid pre-emergent is I can spray other things, not just the lawn, and control where I spray it. So I like to spray in the cracks along the curb, cracks in my sidewalk and driveway, and even in my landscape beds uh, where I don't have plants. Uh, you just want to be cognizant that you're not spraying it near plants because that could really cause issues with your plants. But I have a lot of landscaping beds that have no plants in them, and I just want to keep the weeds down. So I'll spray that liquid pre-emergent around those areas to kind of combat those weeds and that's the less work I have to do from pulling them in the summertime. Now if you have no idea where to begin or what to look for when purchasing pre-emergence, I've put some links down in the description below. Check it out. These are the products that I'm going to recommend to you just because I have used them, had great success in prior years, um, and we will go over here shortly about how to mix up the water-soluble prodiamine and how to spray it out. Now I will stress to you that timing is everything. However, that said, if you apply the pre-emergent a little bit early, it's not gonna impact you much. It will activate, it will still work throughout the season. And if you're too late, I don't think there's ever such a time that you're too late. Now, if we get past this weekend when you're watching this video, or even a few weeks later into April, beginning of May, I don't think there's ever a time where you're too late to put it down. It's still gonna provide some protection However, you're probably going to still have some weed sprout. And the biggest thing that you want to deal with with timing is the crabgrass. Because once the crabgrass comes up, then you're going to be chasing it with another herbicide to try to kill it off. And it's kind of going to choke out your good grass. So timing is key. However, if you miss the mark, there's still time to put it down and prevent more weeds from generating or germinating, in my opinion. Now that said, I do like to do split applications of pre-emergent. So when we hit the 50 degree mark in the soils, which we're gonna do here this weekend when I post this video or shortly into the next week, I like to put down my first application of prodiamine. Now what the split application is gonna do for you is it's going to extend your protection. So I will put it down at the recommended rate when we hit 50 degrees, and then I'll apply my second application 30 to 45 days later when that soil temp gets warmer and uh, we put down the second app and it's going to basically extend our protection into the fall. Now this is going to last you, like I said, into the fall um, and cover the majority of the weeds that you're going to deal with and prevent them from germinating. Now, I've been using pre-emergent for several years now and I found that it helps tremendously in cutting down the amount of weeds. Now is it perfect? Absolutely not. However, you're probably going to cut out 98%, I would guess, of your weeds that's going to sprout in your yard. Uh, maybe less than that if you have, don't have thick turf. Uh, but it's going to really make a difference in improving the look of your lawn, cutting out crabgrass, dandelions, etc. in those uh, areas. Now with pre-emergent, I had mentioned earlier about uh, dithiapyr that people can use in the fall. Now the reason being is there are annual limits on how much prodiamine or dithiapyr or any type of pre-emergent that you're using. Make sure you're reading the labels. Make sure that you're not over applying this stuff because when you get into over applying this stuff from what the label says, um, then you can get into issues with it not working down the road and then you're gonna basically have no options uh, at that point. However, that said, if you do struggle or find the need, struggle with weeds or find the need that you need a fall application, um, this application in the fall is going to help more with those fall germinating weeds like Poa annua um, and those other grassy weeds that germinate in the fall time. Now, a little disclaimer here, if you do plan to overseed either in the fall 
or even in the spring while we're talking about this, if you plan to seed any areas or overseed in the fall, do not apply pre-emergent herbicide to those areas. Now, I do have a few areas that I'm gonna test out some seed uh, that I had gotten this year in a couple of spots that are bare. So I will not spray those areas when I spray. They're little small areas. I kind of know where they're at and what I plan to do in those spots. So I will spray the rest of the yard. Another reason why I like liquids is I can control where I spray, how much goes down there. So I will skip those little areas. And that way, when I overseed those areas, I will have no issues and then I can have protection on the rest of the lawn. Now, before we get too far into measuring out product and spraying it, I want to give you a quick reminder that measuring your lawn is going to be vital when putting down fertilizers and herbicides, especially with pre-emergence. Now, I talked about annual maximums, but the rates that you're going to mix up product or even apply the granule product are going to be given in per thousand square feet increments. And if you don't know what size your lawn is or what areas are a thousand square feet, then you're gonna be pretty much lost in this area and you're either gonna under apply or you're gonna over apply leading to issues. And a lot of reviews, I've seen people say, pre-emergence don't work, I've never had success with them. I'd uh, be willing to bet that they're either applying them incorrectly or like I said, over or under applying them. So I'll link a video up in the uh, corner here about lawn measuring. It's easy, you can do it online or you can measure it the old fashioned way. I'll link a measuring wheel below that I've used in the past and I have um, that I like and it's pretty reasonably priced. Um, but check that video out. Also, if you have questions on using a broadcast spreader or you're a beginner to this and you have no idea how to use a broadcast spreader, I will link another video up in the corner that I did recently about overviews of a broadcast spreader and how to use them correctly to ensure you're getting good coverage. So check those out. Um, make sure that you're following labels and uh, evenly applying the product in those areas. Now let's get into it. Now like I said, labels are key, but here's the general guideline with prodiamine for cool season lawns that I've used in the past with great success. So with the granule prodiamine, you're looking at three pounds per thousand square feet. Um, most products are that rate. I think the Anderson's uh, brand, the Barricade, will give a little different rates. So I'm gonna be talking about the products that I'm linking below, which is the Yard Mastery brand and the Anderson's brand. There's a lot of different types of prodiamine out there, but most generally, as a guide, three pounds per thousand square foot on the first application, and then three pounds per thousand square foot 30 to 45 days later on your next application. Now, like I said, follow the labels, but that's a general guideline on those applications for granule prodiamine. Now, in relation to the water-soluble prodiamine, the WDG 65 that I'm gonna be using and that is popular uh, around the lawn community, this is gonna go down at 5.2 grams per thousand square feet. Now, I will usually mix this with a gallon, gallon and a half of water, this is gonna be dependent on your sprayer. So if you're unsure how fast your sprayer sprays, um, do a test run with water, kind of fill it with a gallon or two gallons, walk the thousand foot or the thousand square foot area, and then you'll kind of get your walking pace down and know how fast you need to walk and how much water you need to cover that area. For me, I found that about a gallon and a half to two gallons out of my Petra HD 4000 will cover that area with a flood jet tip. Now I would recommend using a T-Jet flood jet tip. It will also be linked below. This is going to give you bigger water droplets and let that pre-emergent get down into the soil if you're spraying and get where it needs to go instead of sitting up on the grass blades. You wanna get it down into the soil for it to work to maximum, maximum effectiveness. Okay, so like I said, I'm using the uh, Sunnyland Prodiamine 65WG. Um, this goes down at 5.2 grams per thousand square feet. Now, without a cheap little scale like this off Amazon, I'll link this below, you're never gonna figure out how much that is. Now, I do spray in 2,000 foot sections myself. However, if you're a beginner and you're just getting used to this, I would stick with the 1,000 square foot section that you found during measuring your lawn and go from there. So you're just gonna get a little container. Doesn't matter what you get. You can use a cup or whatever. 
put it on your scale and then tear it out and make sure you're wearing gloves you don't want to get this stuff on your hands but this is a yellow substance so it's easy to see once you get it uh, out and we're basically just going to add a little bit at a time until we get to 5.2 grams so we'll get 10.4 and this scale is not totally exact so I'll go to 11 there just hit 11 but this little amount of prodiamine if you can see that is going to prevent weeds in your lawn um, all summer long based on a split amount so we'll apply the same amount on a 2,000 square foot section in another 30 days um, so basically what we're going to do now is get the sprayer out mix this with water agitate it and spray it down thing to mention since we have everything applied it's ready to go is you're going to want to water this in or do it before a rain to get it watered in now there is rain in our forecast here for the next few days in a couple days uh, typically they say 24 hours however i've never had a problem leaving it sit 48 hours or so so hopefully it rains otherwise i'll come out water it in and uh, we'll go from there so this is a great first step in keeping the weeds out of your lawn now, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time out in the lawn.